Hey, what's up, Drive Coaching followers? So we just had our our sales boot camp class, our, our two-day sales boot camp class. I'm standing here with Jim. Jim just went through the class. So first off, Jim, um, I, we, over here, come over here with me. We have a list of all the topics that, that uh, you guys wanted, that the entire class wanted me to make sure that we coached you guys around and trained you on. Um, did we cover all the topics? Uh, absolutely. Everything on that list, everything that everybody talked about, we got it done. Yep, that's right, yeah. man. I tailor, everything's tailored for the class. That's the difference between training and coaching, one of them. Now, Jim really liked what I call my, my step it up. Uh, it's the relevance clothes, the step it up relevance clothes. So, Jim, um, what did you think about, and by the way, here is the formula for the relevance clothes. And I am going to share this with you guys because it's probably... In my opinion, it's the best clothes you could ever come up with, right? Jim, what did you yeah. think about the relevance clothes? Um, I thought it was a really interesting clothes, and I think it's going to really help me, especially with a lot of my internet leads, that um, they know what they're coming to shop for, but they also kind of have time to pre-think of excuses of why they want to leave. So having this, these steps to help close it um, and help push that close a little bit farther is, is really good. Now, Jim, we went through this one time, right? So could you, I'll, I'll tell you what, you just real quick explain to the viewers a little bit about the relevance clothes and why this clothes could work with any customer, with any situation, buying any car, with any trade-in, right? Right. So you kind of go over the things that you've already talked about inside of your um, needs analysis and everything that you've gone through. So you're going to use kind of their, you know, their personality in there. You're going to use maybe the environment. Maybe it's really hot. It's really cold. You want to get them out of there. And there's somebody that likes to move quick anyway. You're going to go over their trade. You're going to go over um, the purchase. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go over the purchase and you're going to go over the time that it is. You know, if it's the end of the month, that's a really good time to help push, you know, hey, my numbers are down or these incentives go away soon. You know, create that urgency. And, you know, so that's your, your step. That's right. The whole thing is that we have to adapt to our customer and our situation. That's the only way. These canned off-the-shelf clothes as you hear from all these sales trainers are BS. I, I mean, honestly, they really are. They don't work. They're not, I mean, okay, they work sometimes when you do the right one for the right person at the right time. But in reality, everything needs to be tailored to the situation. No different than we tra tailor the content of our drive coaching class to the, the class, right, Jim? Adaptability. It's, we've got to adapt. That's right. We also have to tailor our closes to the customer. So what he said was, we, we're going to talk about what's important to them. Safety was important to them. If the environment, if it's cold outside, then we need to stress that. If we're talking about communication and personality styles, we need to flex the things we say to that customer's style. If we talk about the trade-in situation, right? doesn't matter. Whatever they're trading in, we can include that. And this, by the way, there's an acronym. It's Step It Up. The purchase situation, what are we buying? And then the time situation. We include this. It's an easy acronym. Remember, anything you say is relevant to the customer, to the situation, and you're creating the Fuji factor, which is fear of loss, urgency, greed, and indifference. And when you do all four of those things, Jim, what do you think the customers say when you ask them to buy the car? They're going to say yes every time. Yep. You can't stop it. You can't stop the yeses. All right, guys. There might be like 1% that says no. I don't know. No, disclaimer on that. I... <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. See you later. Thanks for tuning in.